Hi everyone. So I want to do um, in this uh, sort of quick review of probability, talk a little bit about um, conditional probability and Bayes' theorem. Conditional probability is a way of revising your notion of the likelihood of an event based on additional information that you may come across. And Bayes' theorem is the sort of basic theorem that relates uh, conditional probability to regular probability. And it's very fundamental in mathematics, although uh, in, at least in the formulation that we're looking at it, it's very elementary. So um, let's think about the following situation. Suppose you, uh, you have a deck of cards. So your sample space X is a deck of 52 standard cards. And you draw a card at random. What's the chance that it's a king? Well, there are four kings in the deck. Each of them occurs with probability 1 in 52. So the probability of drawing a king is 4 out of 52, or 1 in 13. Now suppose you somehow find out that your card is a face card. In other words, it's a jack, queen, or king. How does that change what you know about the probability of being a king? Well, in the language of conditional probability, which you write like, lit, write like this, the chance that you have a king, given that you've drawn a face card, well, there are uh, three face cards in each suit and four suits, so there are 12 face cards. And so instead of drawing a king, the, instead of asking about drawing a king from all the cards, you're only asking about drawing it from these 12 face cards. And so the probability changes, and it becomes 4 in 12, or 1 in 3. So the additional information has affected the uh, probability. And in some one way to think about it is that you have restricted the sample space. Instead of looking at all the cards, you're looking only at a subspace of the cards as your sample space. So the definition of con conditional probability is uh, of that form, you let A and B be two events, then the probability of A given B is, by definition, the probability of A intersect B, in other words, A and B happening, out of the chance that B happens. And if you want a picture of this, here's your sample space X. And your event B, let's say, is only a part of it. Here's B. And your event A might be here. So in my example above, uh, the, the kings were included entirely with the face cards, but that doesn't have to be the case. And what, um, what the conditional probability asks is if you look at the piece of, the, of A inside the big event B, how likely is this uh, A region to occur out of the total mass of B events? And that's what conditional probability measures. And the, um, the basic theorem in this area is called Bayes' theorem, although, as I said, in this formulation, it's kind of trivial. It says that it relates the probability of A given B to the probability of B given A by this formula. And the proof of it is very simple, because the probability of B given A times the probability of A is the probability of A intersect B, because the probability of B given A is the probability of A given B divided by the probability of A. 
And so if you substitute this in, you get that the probability of A given B is the probability of B given A, probability of A over probability of B, which is the probability of A intersect B over the probability of B, which is true. And so Bayes' theorem is really just a um, kind of a rearrangement of the terms. But as we'll see later and in various places throughout the course, this uh, relatively simple idea turns out to have a lot of implications. And in fact, um, there's a lot of philosophy uh, that underlies Bayes' theorem, uh, and it uh, can be an important uh, way to think about probabilities.